So the queen had an idea. She will cover the whole kingdom in leather. That way, no one will ever stand on the prickles again. So she got to work. All day and night, the queen worked, covering her whole kingdom in leather. Oh, can you please chew with your mouth shut? I can chew with my mouth shut. Of course I can. Thank you. The queen just... Then I'm not gonna. That's it. I'm out. Catch you on the flip side, Willie. Wait, no. I'm done, Bluey. I can handle this, Mum. Yeah, that's all. Ow! My back, my neck, my back and my neck. I just tap you on the shoulder. Whiplash! Whiplash! Call my lawyer! <laughs> oh. Look, Bluey, good on you for trying, but you can't change unicorns. Ugh, I think you're right. I'm not sure you can change anyone very much. Well, what can we change? Well, we can stop letting unicorns annoy us. Really? How? Maybe we ignore him? He's pretty hard to ignore. Let's give it a go. The Queen just couldn't do any more. She was too tired. Oh, here he comes. Remember? Just ignore him. <clears throat> Are you Willie Healer? I'm Chilly Healer! Mom. Oh, yes, sorry. But then the Jester said to the Queen, Your Majesty, instead of covering the whole kingdom in leather, why not just cover your feet? Stop that reading. This is a very serious matter. One of you karate chop my client. Karate chop? Louie? Oh, yeah, sorry. So the Queen cut two little bits of leather and made them into shoes. Hey, I'm talking to you. Yeah, listen to him. So the people could walk anywhere they wanted and the prickles couldn't hurt them. Stop reading! Unicorns, let me handle this. Yeah, you watch it, mate. I'll have to get a little pokey. OK, as your lawyer, I... Here I go! Oh. Oh. Hey, and they go. all lived happily ever after. Ah. Ah. Shall we leave them to it? Yeah, I'm tired.